How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can watch Train Spotting on Netflix. Now, the award winning movie Train Spotting delves into the gritty realities of heroin addiction and the Edinburgh drug scene. Ranked as the best Scottish movie of all time by a public opinion poll, this is a film that is truly worth watching. Now, because of licensing rights and issues, unfortunately, it's not available for everybody on Netflix unless you're in uh, Japan and according to UNOGS.com, also India and the Netherlands. But let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I'm not in any of these countries. So what I want to do in this case is simply use a VPN to make it look like as if I'm in Japan or any of the other countries where it's available. We're going to go ahead and test it out with a Japanese server. So you're going to need a reliable VPN for that. And I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three is the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation, preferences and your own budget, of course. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate using ExpressVPN because that's what I like to use on the daily, but they all do work remarkably well with unblocking streaming services. But let's go ahead and just see here, go to Japan. Let's just go to the Yokohama server, connect to it. And as soon as I'm connected, all I need to do is simply refresh the Netflix page and we should have access to train spotting as if I'm uh, in Japan myself. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, so it's not available. Perhaps it's available in uh, the Netherlands. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we connect to the Netherlands. It may have been removed from uh, Japan. We'll connect to the Netherlands and see what happens here. So let's see, as soon as I'm connected again, it's the same process. I'm connected to the VPN. Now let's go ahead and refresh Netflix. Okay, so it seems like it is available in the Netherlands indeed, but it may have been just removed from the Japanese library. So there you go, train spotting right here. It's as simple as it gets with regards to unblocking streaming services. And any of these VPNs will do just fine, no matter which one you pick. Just make sure that, um, you know, if you don't find a specific movie in a specific library, it just means that it may have been removed from that library, or maybe you want to connect to a different server within the VPN. So it's as simple as that. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policies, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, all these VPNs are covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So in case you're not satisfied with any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can get yourself the refund very easily. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.